Hey guys and yo, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel and in today's stream guys we are having a look at um, the MSX core, uh, a work in progress core, it's still in alpha stage and this is made by Marcus Jordan aka Boogerman. Uh, so uh, Marcus actually contacted me earlier, he gave me um, a newer version of the build right? So um, yeah that's what we're checking out today. So this game here is called Eric Eric something right? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get out of here quick. Right, so this is the inspiration behind Bomberman. You can, we, we can clearly see that, right? It looks like Bomberman. Let me just find out what it's called again because... I've got Okay, Eric and the Floaters, right? So apparently this is the game that inspired Bomberman, right? And you can see it straight away. You're in a maze and you're floating about. <laughs> Not as cool looking as Bomberman. It's a guy with a hat, but you know, you got to start somewhere, right? And uh, okay, yo, Scalino the first, Richard Maxi. Hey guys, how you doing? Do let me know if anyone's got any requests. I, I don't know much about this system. This is a system I don't know much about. So I thought we'd have a look at it. We'll have a look at a live stream of it. And so what initially I had, I had a keyboard plugged in as well. Uh, and like now what, what Boogerman has done, actually let's have a look at that. So if we go into core options, right? So what he's got in here, is that's how you download the games. We've got a whole bunch of games in here. We'll go through random ones, uh, you know, until someone mentions some games. Just remember, if you want to mention games, guys, please mention them in block capital so they stand out. So enable Joy to Key. So this is really, really good, right? So, for example, like some of the games require you to press spacebar to start. Maybe some of them may require you, will require you to press enter to start. I know some of them are spacebar. So I had to go over to the keyboard I've got plugged in when docked and press the spacebar. Well, enable joy to key just means we can map keys over to um, different keys like these ones over here. So what I've done already is I have, there you go. So I've made the spacebar the start key. The select key is F1. Okay, cool and yeah okay so yeah interesting right so uh some games use f1 uh to like start or pause or continue there's different kind of functions in here so let's see what we can okay so i can map right i can map them to kind of specific keys as you can see i've got stuff here so maybe what might be worth doing right so maybe go uh select f1 okay we've got that start f5 right and maybe spacebar it might be better to have that up on maybe y let's make y spacebar let's make x i don't know what else i'm gonna use uh i don't know yet so maybe we'll come back to that right so that's that's very very interesting what options have i got oh okay cool so uh again different options um to kind of have like l and r key and this is really really good right because if you're gonna play this uh if you've only got an analog pocket and you haven't got a dock you can't have a keyboard on there right this is the way you're going to play it so guys um so there's a couple of games that vampire friend of mine recommended and i kind of put them in a folder called bangers right but he recommended two games i was hoping to put more in there but i've been rushing around today i was actually trying to finish the weekly news video but i'm nowhere near done um and hotego just released the jt jt friday post so i've got to kind of fit that in there uh jose francisco uh Carrasco Ben Benitez, how you doing, man? Wicked. Um, no, this is this is on the this is on the analog pocket. So this this calls this calls available um, this calls available for a long time uh, on the Mister. So this this I'm pretty sure it's a port of the Mister court, right? Um, not not and like not a core built fresh for the analog pocket. So if we go into core settings now, so what you'll see, see that game's not loaded, right? So that's this game here, which is the Maze of Gallius, right? So what we do now is when we go into menu, we go to um, slot a mapper, right? So it's got auto in there already. We can try different ones. This one seems to load up a lot of games. So we'll go with that one now and let's see if it loads the game. Um, let's see, okay. No, are we getting any joy? Not quite. So guys, this is this is going to be one of those ones where we're going to experiment a lot of stuff. Uh, once we kind of get going, we'll get going. So I tried that one. Let me try the Konami one. I'm not sure if this is a Konami game, uh, but there you go. It is a Konami game. So a lot of the Konami games, you use the Konami mapper. Now there is an auto option that you can use uh, and it works to some extent, right? Uh, but obviously if it doesn't then you can adjust stuff manually i just need to put my volume up actually on my tv let me check the volume levels oh okay it looks all right for you guys to hear now 
I like these games. I find these games, I find these games charming, guys. Like, they, they just remind me of simpler times. The times of, um, you know, the ZX Spectrum when I used to play it around the friend's house. Now, this machine apparently has got a whole bunch of lazy ZX Spectrum ports on there. I'm quite happy playing ZX Spectrum stuff anyway, because you know what? I haven't actually set up the ZX Spectrum core. But it reminds me of like the Commodore 64. Um, the, even though the Commodore 64, I think, had like maybe better colors or a different color palette. Uh, I, I, you know, the Atari 800 days where games were games, right? You had stuff like, um, you had stuff like uh, just simpler times, right? So it was, it was, it was amazing. Um, so, um, yeah, oh, sorry, Big Al, just want to say thank you as well, man, Alan D. Alan D, Big Al, awesome guy, he's uh, one of the mods over on the Pixel Cherry Ninja Discord, awesome guy. And Michael, uh, Michael McCann, awesome, man. Michael, I hope you got everything working to you uh, in the email. I did check my sent items because I know sometimes certain attachments can get blocked, uh, but in your case, it didn't seem like it was blocked. So, guys, if anyone knows MSX in here, educate me in the chat. Tell me about chat, guys, and, uh, you know, we can... Uh, we can kind of do stuff, um, we, yeah, we can have a look and check stuff out together, right? Like, I mean, yeah, I want to I wanna try some games out. So apparently this game's good. So let's try it out. So, see space bar there, but see a lot of the games, it's quite good the way they configure this. Okay, so, see, like Amiga, a lot of the games are up. Even though it's got two buttons, it's got a jump button. And guys, who remembers, right? That kind of era, we're talking like early 80s, like these games were just so... These were the rays, right? These were all the games. Can I? <laughs> I was hoping to jump up. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Can I push the boulder? No. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could push that. Am I going to fall to my death? No. Okay. But I can jump up the boulder. Cool. Like, look at that, right? <laughs> you know, this is where you didn't have the graphics. I mean, it was just all down to your imagination. Um, love these type of games. You know, I don't know if I'll play them now. I, you know, I, I have... I have a nostalgia kick when I play this system, but it's more because it reminds me of a lot of other stuff. Um, you know, some games, some games like R-Type um, that I, you know, R-Type's always R-Type, so you know, R-Type will be R-Type. Like, I'll, I'll kind of enjoy that almost anywhere. Ooh, okay, I thought I couldn't attack that. Okay, so there's the, oh, you can actually, okay, you can attack the boulders. So guys, hit me with uh, games. Yo, Marco, good evening to you, bud. How's it, how's it going? Uh, awesome stuff. Wicked. Um, right, so there's bouncing. Wow, he can jump quite high as well. Didn't realise that. Okay, so he can uh, he can get around. But let's. Uh, okay, until someone comes up with a game, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go into the no intro one because it's got all the games laid out. Now I'm not really so much into. Um, I'm not really so much into uh, like the ten yard fight, the American football stuff. But let's see for game. Oh, let's try. Should we try Arkanoid? Right, Arkanoid is. You know, Arkanoid is, well, Arkanoid is Arkanoid. Alan D, no doubt we're going to do our type. Definitely, definitely going to do our type. And guys, if you're just tuning in, absolutely welcome. Good to have you here. Or well, like Bruce Forsyth used to say, nice to see you, to see you nice. <laughs> okay, am I am I starting? Press start button. Right, why is this not starting? Have I got a kind of mess up here? I'm definitely... Is it, is it going to wait a little while? Okay, maybe it is, okay. Banging soundtrack. Again, this was a game I played on my Atari. No? Okay. I, I can't move it around. I don't I don't know what's going on, right? Okay, so there's there's something up with the controls there. Now some games are just keyboard, but I haven't actually got my keyboard connected in there. So I'm gonna kind of let's see what we've okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of skip that one, right? Uh, and then we'll kind of look. I mean I could just plug in my keyboard again, but I kind of wanted to try out the mapper. What's BC's quest, right? <laughs> I'm thinking like BC Kid, you know, Bonk's Adventure, PC Kid, aka BC Kid. Um, oh, okay, wicked. Uh, right, so let's let's do requests now. Oh, guys, remember the loading screens we used to get? Those kind of flashy lights and everything, right? <laughs> now, I guess to like these games, you kind of had to be there, right? So I've kind of mapped buttons around. I don't know, I don't know how much of a job that's actually done. Um, maybe I'm kind of better off actually plugging in my keyboard because I have got it handy. Okay, yeah, I haven't got access to the controls on this one. Let's do R-Type, because I know R-Type's got a separate mapper. So, let's go here. Let's... One thing I really like about um, the pocket is how fast you go through the menu, man. Here we go, R-Type. Absolutely banging. Now, R-Type's not going to load, but I'll show you why, right? As soon as R-Type goes, there you go. No cartridge found. A little bit of a fail. So, we go into core settings. 
we go to load mapper and if you go right to the bottom you're going to see there's a specific one for r-type right so you know if r-type doesn't work you're going to look at the mappers and you're going to go you know what i can actually see r-type there so that's where it's at that's where we're at so again no bad version of our type man games just absolutely fantastic brilliant game brilliant game brilliant soundtrack and um alan i kind of went on a discord and i said what game what soundtrack shall i use for the weekly news video i mean it's not very very loud it's very very subtle right uh, and alan said alan was first to say our type and i was like you know what that can um that could work now what might happen al is sometimes when i do a soundtrack and i listen to it it doesn't come out great as much as I love the kind of soundtrack like it can't be too kind of intrusive and uh, let's see what the R-Type one sounds like when I want to do it it's got to have a kind of mellow thing to it and hopefully R-Type delivers that and guys there is no bad version of R-Type now there's limitations of this hardware where you know the scrolling stuff is there and wow that was quite fast in fact um, the, the, like the bottom part you know it's jittery the way it's kind of scrolling it's a little bit jerky but that, that's the limitations of the hardware right i would i would dig this like being like i don't know five six years old uh you know having one of these or being like very very young and having this as like my first machine i oh, without a doubt would have fallen in love like what what a fantastic thing and, and a big shout out to um marcus jordan man absolute you know brilliant brilliant guy just a very very nice guy man and a good developer as well man very 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 humble guy as well man he doesn't um you know he doesn't like me giving him too much props which which is a sign of you know a person just being humble right uh but yeah very very nice guy man and and just really nice of him of um you know providing me with this call and then providing me with an update with um so the main thing in the update that i got today is that you can assign keyboard keys to your controller like we saw in the menu if you were watching the beginning of this stream which was uh, interesting i shouldn't have got that power up oh well, i don't i don't like this one too much i kind of prefer the lasers i mean wow that kind of looks good right it's uh it's fun to see the limitation of the colors but look at that everything is in there i've got my missiles uh, so that's going to give me that's going to be give me the power up pull i mean i'm all out wicked i've got the lasers again because that's what i wanted i, I don't know i kind of think the lasers are better than the other ones um another thing i never realized about our type right if you hold down the charge your missiles keep firing and obviously i've got like the homing missiles so they're going in getting them and our type's just wicked i need to uh, at some point get the zx spectrum core going and once i get the zx spectrum core going i want to try our type on it because in my head i just remember it being awesome i remember playing it around my friend's house on its 48k spectrum i'm pretty sure it was a 48k that's what he had uh, unless i played it somewhere else and it was it was yeah, it was wicked man absolutely loved it i just want to see the first boss i'll likely die on the first boss i can't remember exactly how to beat the first boss and hopefully i can get there and like something like that doesn't actually kill me um I've almost been kind of cancelling this stream, you know, like the weekly news video took me, it's taken me quite a long time. I've been working on it most of the day and, you know, with Otego dropping uh, what he did uh, and also just a heads up, if anyone wants, uh, if anyone here has got a mister and they want the reflex of that, then um, I'm going to have a five uh, $5, sorry, not $5, it kind of works out as 10% actually, oh, too, talking too much. So there's going to be a code. Uh, if you want to get one right now, it's going to last a week. Just put in, put in, put in PCN at checkout on Mr. Addons' store. And uh, if you wanted to get Reflex Adapt, you can get $5 off. Just complete clarity. I'm not making a kickback kick back from it or anything. Uh, I just said to Mr. Addons that I'd like to uh, do something for some of uh, you know the viewers of the channel. Uh, because Philly, Philly, who always kind of helps me out, good guy, uh, gave me the heads up about the Analog Pocket new firmware today. He was like, oh, any chance of getting a discount? So I spoke to Mr. Addons said look can we get some of the subs uh, some of the viewers a discount so the code is pcn if you use it on checkout you can get five dollars uh, five dollars off which kind of what well, i think it works out to about 10 percent off right now i mean it's not the biggest saving in the world but if you were on the market to, you know and you wanted to get one anyway then five dollars is five dollars right i mean you can probably buy a whole coffee with that somewhere <laughs> coffee's expensive now man i tend not to buy it uh, but cool all right what, what else have we got on the list right i'm not playing now so we're just gonna kind of crash here so i know um right i kind of need to all right wicked wicked i saw okay bc quest what's going on here right why can't oh this is really weird right okay um sorry guys just having a little look at the chat wicked uh, okay i'll type there what have we got here 
Uh, okay, Hypersports. Let's check out Hypersports now. Marco wants Hypersports again. Like I love, I love, I love the colors. I love what the title screen looks like, guys. It's it's amazing. Oh, and also just a heads up, it may not be the longest stream today. I kind of want to get back to doing. If I finish the weekly news video tonight, right? It just means I can have. I can have a big day tomorrow, man. I'm going out. A friend was supposed to be coming around. I was supposed to be going arcade, but it, and I was supposed to be going to their restaurant. They they own a restaurant, a really really good restaurant. Uh, I was supposed to be going there with a family uh, on uh, okay Hyper Sports, right? So was it Hyper Sports one. It was it was just Hyper Sports. So I was supposed to be going to a restaurant on Sunday, but they said, can they come over to me on Sunday? And um, and uh, yeah, we can drop the days around. So I'm, I'm, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be around the other way. Okay, what's going on here? So I'm going to go to the friend tomorrow, but then I won't have much to do in in the form of videos, or at least not a lot to do. Uh, the weekly news video really, really does take long. Sorry, I never meant to do that. I meant to do, um, right, swap mapper. Let's go back to auto and let's see if this does it, right? So, I, oh, wow, okay. I imagine Hypersports is like uh, Decathlon, right? I'm going to have to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it. Or wiggle it just a little bit. <laughs> uh, awesome, wicked. Uh, oh yeah, I kind of, I, I think I recall this game, right? So let's see. Okay, we're starting. Oh, one player with joystick. Yeah, let's go joystick. Again, a lovely soundtrack and everything. I, I think I've played this, guys. This may have been out for the Atari or something else as well. You know, kind of rings a bell. Like I'm, I'm definitely again. Why I like this system, man. It just. <laughs> okay cool <laughs> is that out of five man is that out of five or is that like out of 10 or out of 100 i can't remember man i don't really watch okay so i qualified okay interesting okay i think that one was better i should get higher score Oh, overall, I think I've got higher. One of the judges doesn't like me, man. They're giving me a two, right? What is going on? What is going on? Wicked. Oh, nice, nice. All right, let's do one more. This is quite good. So, time it. Time it. I was hoping you could somersault some more, right? But, um, come on. Don't give me a two. Man, that one always gives me a two, man. This is, this is cheating. Again, Love how this game looks. Okay, game over. <laughs> Boo-hoo. <laughs> Alright, what's next after Hypersports, right? Um, what we got? Okay, Adventure and Nemesis 3. Yeah, we can uh, we can definitely do that. Oh, sorry, that was actually before that. Um, so let's have a look. So let's go cartridge. Um, let's go adventure first. Oh, okay. Is Advent is that short for adventure? Oh, okay, let's have a look. Wicked. Oh, Marcus, okay, the career list, it has the... Ma oh, okay, cool. All right, I'll, I'll do that, man. Wicked, I, I did not know that. Let's do that now. So let's go here. Let's go back out. So curated MSX. Right, okay, cool. So now let's go adventure. Okay, okay, adventure, Arctic computing. Is, is that the one? Right, okay. Just adventure rather than it being spelt funny. Okay, cool. Nah, I'm not going to do a text adventure, guys. <laughs> Maybe I'll try the other one, adventure, or even like adventure kid. Hey, guys, if you're just tuning in, hope you're having a good afternoon, a good evening, wherever you are. Okay, adventure ta. Nice. Um, hopefully, you're a, hopefully Vampire MSX can kind of drop by. He's got, you know, he's a big fan of. Okay, what's going on here? Ah, here we go. Okay, no, no real idea what I'm doing here. You know, I'm, I might have to um, turn around with the controls or something again. But it was another game, Nemesis Free. Let's go Nemesis Free, guys. Because you know what? We love Nemesis. Uh, and here we go. Nemesis free now. Wow, okay. Uh, no. Okay, whoa, what's going on here? Why have I not got Nemesis here? Am I, am, I, am I losing a plot? Okay. No? Okay, that's, that's weird. I wonder if it's under maybe Salamander. Salamander 1. Okay, no. Is it going to be under Gradius?
No, okay. Oh, hold on. Gradius 2. Okay, we've got... Okay, I know there's slight differences in everything. Haven't got number 3 here, so... Let's go, let's go number two, actually. Let's go Gradius number two. Well, Gradius Nemesis number two. No number three there, at least at the moment. So let's have a look at this. Um, okay, BC Quest was fun on the 64, Marco. Thanks for pointing that. Yeah, Kung Fu, man. Uh, yeah, let's revisit that. That game was bloody tough. Had no idea what to do, right? So let's go again to here. Slot a mapper. Let's go to the Konami mapper. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to get it to work, right? So Konami games work with a Konami mapper. Yeah, yeah, Kung Fu is is banging. Okay, Nightmare. Uh, my okay, nice, nice, uh, a good couple of games there. Awesome. So we'll have we'll have to check those out as well. Wicked. Uh, appreciate Marcus that you're saying use the correlated list. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, so let's check this out. Wow. Okay. Love it. Wow, look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Remember when you saw like, you know, that was like the best FMV you kind of had. I'm, I'm wondering what the fire dragons are going to look like in this, right? Ah, no. I missed one of the power-ups, right? So that fourth one should be laser. Okay, let's do this. Nice. So I know uh, Gradius. Yeah, no, this is yeah. Gradius two had the dragons, right? The fire dragons. So I imagine this game might be a little bit different then, right? Because I was I've been playing Gradius two recently. I played it last night. I was at Salamander two. Uh, on uh, on the Sega Saturn core man. Wow, what a game man. Bloody bloody difficult difficult game though. Again, like how good is this, right? You, you ah, Damn, how bad am I? <laughs> Wicked. Um again I'm really looking forward to actually getting uh the number two of this, right? Do they come from behind? What that, that kind of sucks, right? And I'm missing I, I need to get those power-ups, man. Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. So fifth one should be option. Shame there's not like a letter on there or anything, right? But obviously, I've, I've played this game. <laughs> I've played this game quite a bit, so I kind of know where uh, what, what each power up is, right? So that that's kind of working to my advantage here. But hey, if you didn't know, you'd have to work out which one is which, right? Unless you've got a big fat manual with it that kind of told you everything, right? Should be able to blow that up, no? No? Okay, I thought I would be able to. Never mind. Ooh, one more for an option. No, I can't blow those things up, right? Okay, so this is this, this is definitely definitely different to uh, Gradius Two and everything, right? Um, oh, just need to get one. I got my option now. Double the firepower. You know that the one thing about like these Gradius, Parodius, and all these games is, man, once you lose a life, you have the power, right? Once you lose that life, that power is gone, guys. You are you're, you're gone for, man. Uh, I don't know if I should go for another option, uh, which is usually the best option, really. Or should, let me go for a sh Ah, oh, no! Again, the greed. The greed just got me, guys. I was like, okay, I've got to get this. Right. So what was the next game? Okay, Hypersports, BC... Okay, let's do Yi Kung Fu now, man. Yi Kung Fu. Oops. No, 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 no. I wanted to do slot A. Um, so let's go back out. Ooh, now this, this game is tough. Wow, I didn't even know there was a number two. Uh, let's hope it still is on that Konami mapper. Oh, it is, yeah. Okay, that's working. Excellent. Really like, like that blue colour. I like I like that colour, man. It's it's nice. Um, hey, guys, anyone tuning in? We're looking at the MSX Work in Progress Core uh, for the, I was going to say Mr., for the Analog Pocket. And this is courtesy of uh, Boogerman, a.k.a. Marcus Jordan, uh, who's, uh, who's working on this. And hopefully it'll get released soon. I mean, it works really, really nice. I think... 
I think he's working on a lot of quality of life stuff, right? Like like he did over here, he brought over uh, so you can map keyboard keys over to your controller, which, which is excellent, right? Because if you don't have a dock and you're only going to play it in handheld mode, it will limit you uh, what games you can play, especially if you, you have to press, for example, spacebar to start, right? So on this one, uh, but a lot of the games, they're full tower. If you've got a controller plugged in, wow, I remember playing this like desperately as a kid and just trying to trying to black win this was a tough game and i remember the jumps the jumps were exactly as i remember them now i don't know what i played this on right was it the atari 800 was it something else but man this game this game was tough but i know this is a game many people love right this is i don't know if this came out before ik um ik plus ik plus was one that i liked a lot on the amiga right um that was one that i liked but yeah man <laughs> i mean is this the granddaddy of one-on-one -on -one fighters right I, I don't know um it's definitely one people like a lot we've got we've got the arcade version for the mister i don't think we've got the arcade core for uh let me see if the kick can kind of get him in the head okay cool i might even win this man I remember this being a lot tougher maybe i played it on maybe i played it on something where it was it wasn't maybe the best port or something on there uh the great john zeno hey man how you doing wicked um so this is this is okay so this is the second alpha i personally got from uh from uh from boogerman right that's that's the second one so not sure exactly what version it is um it is just i mean it might tell you on the core we can have a look at it in a second see if there's any notes uh, after this game I'll, I'll reset the core okay i can see why people like this game right if i was around and and I played this, I, I did try and play it as a kid, I just remember getting battered on there, right? I think I'd, I'd have to work out the patterns, the formulas. I think I would really, really enjoy this game, man. Now, I don't think you could play this two-player. Um, it seems like it's just a one-player versus CPU uh, kind of thing. Wow. And how do you actually jump? Like, is it up up twice? I'm not sure how it works. Good soundtrack as well for this, man. Um... I guess like you know the msx was limited in the sound it could produce so some of the some of the sound is is quite charming i, I particularly like the game on here called the goonies man i thought that was uh, i thought that was a good good game something i definitely would have liked a lot as a kid um so this is interesting there's gonna be a whole bunch of games to try out on this right i've got my butt handed to me so let's exit this call right so we can go in and have a look so computer here we go msx and what's it say about so it's version 0 0.10 uh here we go uh, boogerman um right here we go okay build date so that's an old build date but that, that might not be accurate i often find out it's not i found that the hard way when i report it in videos and they're like oh no that was just that was just the date that was there i was supposed to change that so uh it's very very recent he's he's only you know he only announced it like a few days ago yo snk kev my bro i'm good man how you doing uh Tr oh yeah trizor trizor <laughs> you, you educated me on that uh name last time anyway let's let's run the core again uh, from the top from the top and what other suggestions did we have guys so wicked wicked um let's have a look um right yeah kung fu and spooks and ladders please right so let's do spooks oops sorry yep yeah, realized spooks So, oh, I think there might be a game here that I'm going to end up like uh, crying. I'm like, oh, oh, this is bringing back so many memories. <laughs> also, sorry, Spooks and Ladders is the game, right? I thought, I thought it was two separate games. One called Spooks, one called Ladders. <laughs> That's quite funny. Ooh, okay, is my chat updating correctly? Let's have a look. What's the bottom one here? Ooh, okay that's really weird all right cool in my window it's not up there oh, okay cool okay bizarre never mind um at least i've okay wicked yeah okay cool just try to keep an eye on chat on my obs it's it's kind of frozen uh unless it's me that's done something here no it hasn't okay so i kind of need to look at this one here that's fine uh we can we can sorry i'm just kind of talking amongst myself so spooks and ladders uh <laughs> Jinkman, okay has it got kings if it's got kings valley we can try it man no problem uh i'll go through some of the stuff uh right nemesis 2 some great music here man uh, yeah the, the konami games generally had good soundtracks so let's try and uh okay are we 
you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try something, guys. I'm just gonna pull out my dongle, right? Just so you know, later on when I know I can make the better keyboard, I'm just plugging in my keyboard. I'm plugging in the dongle, right? I'm just gonna go into options now, and I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna switch over that uh, joy. Okay, cool. That that should restart the game. I'm gonna switch it off now to see. Now we should have access to the keyboard, and I'm kind of gonna put that in my lap, and I'm gonna try out like random keys now. Okay. Okay. What's what's it? Oh, here we go. Okay. So oh, so one to nine, right? Uh, okay. Right. Okay. So with this one, you kind of need a keyboard. Now I have to kind of work around how best to do. Yo, Gov, how you doing, man? Wicked. Governor's in the house, guys. Uh, wicked, wicked. Uh, Gov, nice to see you. Let me <laughs> let me try this game. Uh, <laughs> Get FZ24 on the go, wicked, wicked. What is F? Right, okay. I don't know what the controls are for this, right? But it's not working for me. Um, I don't know if it's. Let me try different keys. Nope. Oh, okay. So, okay. So I've got Z. Okay, Z and X is S going to be up? What is going to be up? Okay, <laughs> guys, it looks good, but you know what? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not doing the controller stuff, man. <laughs> uh okay yeah all right i don't know where up is on this wicked all right yeah i i, I don't know what's going on here right so i've plugged in a keyboard now and i've turned off like mapping keys over to the controller let's have a look at another game see if we can find another game in there um wicked uh kung fu spooks okay super co super cobra let's have a look at super cobra right that just sounds cool doesn't it like super cobra right it's got the word super in it and it's got the word cobra in there i mean that is proper badass right that is pro proper cobra kai man we can hash brown that stuff right there let me have a look at chat uh let's get fc24 on the go what is fc24 um gov uh governor two, uh, 2018 um that is okay what is, <laughs> what is this budget pack man yeah so gov 2018 so uh gov 2018 is um is is a good friend and gov 2018 is into new games like fifa i would say fifa's gov's game he plays he likes the resident evil games right and uh i miss gov, gov 2018 dude like you are missed without going into um too much details because this is a live stream that's accessible to everywhere everyone right so okay one key so do i need to press one to start okay i'll press one to start oh okay cool so i'm using a combo of, of a keyboard and a joystick now so this you know like um marcus is marcus jordan's doing a great job of uh, wow this game is banging guys banging i would have loved this back in the day man uh you've got your miss oh I, I guess i need to get the fuel right uh you've got your missiles you've got your you've got your thing wow so uh, to, to have a keyboard plugged in and to play it with a dock will probably uh, give you an amazing experience, right? But once the once the keys are swapped over and everything, we, we use that um, Joy sorry key to Joy or whatever it's called, where you can map keyboard keys over to your uh, controller. That will make everything a lot easier. But you know what? I just don't want to work all that out in the stream where I'm in there troubleshooting and trying different buttons out. So at least if I plug in a keyboard, I can just access all the keys that are available. There. I've got, oh no! Wow, okay. Sorry guys, I had River Raid in my head, right? Do you know in River Raid where you uh, 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 collect the fuel, right? In fact, we'll put on River Raid, man. River Raid is fantastic. So I thought I had to collect the fuel, right? But um, no, I have to blow up the fuel, man. I mean, it's not very environmentally friendly, right? You know, might get some eco warriors after me, uh, you know, for all uh, for all this fuel wastage um, and whatnot. Unless obviously it's an electric helicopter. Again, guys, I dig this game, man. It's, I would have loved this game back in the day. Remember, I'm telling myself that I'm like, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, ten, whatever. <laughs> I'm telling myself I'm a young kid and, and this is the stuff we had. And I remember, I remember getting buzzing playing these games, man. Like just having a look at them and being like, wow, being like blown away, guys. Super Cobra, wicked game, man. So great, uh, great John, John Zini, awesome stuff. Really appreciate that. Has it got King's Valley, right? Uh, Trizacta, that's what we are going to check now, right? We are going to check now. King's Valley right now. Let's, let's do it, right? Are we, I am in the created list, yep. Let's go down to K. 
Okay, and Kings Valley, there you go. If this is a text adventure, right, we're not going to get much further than the title screen, right? I can't bore you guys on there. <laughs> Gov 2018, just stop oil, man. Do you know what? I have to say, right, like, okay, this ain't a political channel or anything like that. But guys, I have to say, like, sometimes I watch those random clips on YouTube where, like, you've got these protesters outside the bus and the bus is, keeps moving forward and you see them, you know, like, chicken out of the way, you know, like, it was, um, it's quite entertaining, some of it, right? Okay, again, wicked. Love it. Absolutely love it. Kings Valley. Right. <laughs> hey, wicked. Again, I'm getting that nostalgia. Kit. Wow. And it's even got a jump button rather than up being jump. No, no. <laughs> Let me get down there. Nah, nah, you can't get me. I mean, what would be good here is the Benny Hill music, right? Da, da, da. Ah, I jumped over you. <laughs> wow. Controls responsive. Can I jump over here? Oh, oh no. That one button done it and it's the jump button that does it. Okay, so, so I can't jump until I do it. Maybe, can I kill that thing? Ha <laughs> ha, in your head. This game is banging. What a game. <laughs> Does anyone remember the Bruce Lee game? I used to play a Bruce Lee game on my um, on my Atari, right? Where it was a ninja and a sumo wrestler chasing you. But two player could be the sumo wrestlers. Ah, oh, damn it. You can't jump with this in your hand. Let me kill this guy. Uh, so the sumo wrestler, what well, up? Uh, two player could be the sumo wrestler. So I used to plug in a second controller, leave it on auto fire to do the game. I used to get to one platformy part that was very, very tricky, man. And I just couldn't pass it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this game, this game's cool. Wow. I like how you can jump over the enemies. Can I jump up there? No. Yeah, this is this is a good game, guys. I can I can you know, I can see this being regarded highly on the system. It's just the controls are very, very good. They're not sluggish or anything, man. They're, they're very, very good. I mean, I was able to jump over the enemies pretty much straight away. Let's see if I can get a shot from here. Okay, so you can't fire on the stairs. There we go. There's a little gem down here. Oh, I thought I was going to get stuck down there. <laughs> Am I stuck down here? Okay, I'm out. I need to fire that because I can't jump and do it. Ah. Great soundtrack, guys. Right, let's go get myself some treasure. Oh, shame I can't. Okay. It would be good if you could, like, jump and attack, but you, you can't do that at the same time. Wow, okay. <laughs> nice, okay. No, wicked. That was, that was interesting, man. I'm definitely digging um, King's Valley, right? Is that what it's called? Let's go, uh, let's, let me go up on the chat and have a look. Um, Wicked, no, that was cool, man. Wicked, the great John Zini, MSX was my first computer. Uh, King's Valley, right, Wicked. Um, all right, let's have a look at, uh, I'm just trying to find games within chat. There's a lot here. Guys, help me out here. Give me games in uh, block capitals. Uh, just literally don't put anything else in the message. Put in the name of the game in block capitals. And it kind of stands out when I have to go through chat, right? Um, like Harder Scrabble. Okay, so what game was it that I, I was... Okay, this is, a, this is a really good game on here that I found the other day. Uh, let's have a look at that. So it's under F. But yeah, please, block capitals. It just stands out. It really, really does help me out. Fairy... Fairy? No. It was a Fairyland story. Where is it? Is it going to be in... Might be in here. This was this was banging. The Fairyland story. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we can try Rally X, man. Wicked, wicked. Hopefully I won't just miss it. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, night. Okay, okay. So I, I'm I'm on that part now, right? Check. Uh, nightmare. We'll do that. We'll do that next, right? Okay. So is it? No, no. Okay. So let's go. Core settings. Let's go. Slot a mapper and let's put it back on auto. That that should run it. I'm pretty sure it did. If not. Okay, no, it didn't. Right, okay, so um, this one, I had a lot, of, a lot of luck with ASC II8, and I think here you go. That one, that one seemed to do like a good job on on quite a lot of them, right? So that was uh, that was pretty cool, right? Um, wicked. Okay, my okay, my, my chat that kind of froze in um, in. <laughs> Um, my, my, my chat that kind of froze in OBS is kind of back now. Okay. Gov 2008 Destruction Derby. I actually done in yesterday's stream. That's out for the Sega Saturn. Um, this system was made in 1983 and the Saturn like in the late nineties. So we've got, we've got like, you know, over a decade in between SNK, Kev, Gradius, Gradius, Julie noted. 
What? Rainbow Islands? No way. No way. No way. That's not here. That's 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 jumping the queue, guys. That's that's gotta be. That's gotta be. Rainbow Islands? No way. And Chris wrote it in block capital. So you know what? Let's let's give this a quick whirl. But Rainbow Islands for this, that just sounds banging, guys. Again, this is this is a good game, guys. So I've kind of got to jump on these things to destroy them. So I'm kind of looking forward to the arcade core of this, right? Um, something that Otago's working on. It's on his radar. It's going to come out at some point. But again, what a fantastic game, man. Single screen platformer. It just it just plays really really well really really well forget you know graphics and everything the playability is just banging okay so you can destroy them like that i kind of thought you had to jump on them i just kind of worked that out now so interesting right i've got to go rainbow islands guys but the fairyland story looks darn good man so let's see let's uh we'll go in here well i'll go to the, i'll go back to the created list but i just want to see if it's in here first so no way rainbow islands is here man um no, it's okay. It's not here. Rally X, I know, is one of the games uh, that was asked for. So let's go into this one here. Now I've got the MSX2 games on here, but they don't work, man. I was kind of looking. Oh, Rainbow Stories. Was that? Did someone say Rainbow Stories and said, or not? He said Rainbow Islands. Um, right, let's have a look. Oh, so Chris, Rainbow Rainbow Islands might actually be. Um, yeah, it might actually be. Um, it might be an MSX2 game. Who knows? We've got them. We can have a look at it, to be honest. So let's have a look let's go so this is something that you'll have to kind of do a few times if the auto option doesn't already get it to work it will have you you have to kind of go in there and i don't know if that's crashed or okay that's definitely not rainbow islands but it has a has a funky look about it right we've got a rainbow there we're gonna fire a rainbow that big or is it just about happiness and joy okay let's check this out Guys, if you're just tuning in, I hope you had a good day. I hope you had a good Friday, or I hope you're having a good Friday, depending on where you are. Yo, Vampire is in the house. Guy, Vampire, sorry, I, I just I didn't realize you're in here. Uh, wicked. Uh, Vampire is he, he is an MSX guy, and on his profile where he talks about MSX and stuff, he actually um, he actually refers to uh, MSX fans as as the vegans of the re retro gaming community, which really made me laugh. Whenever I read that, it just always, always makes me laugh, right? The, the vegans of the retro, MSX fans are like the vegans of the retro gaming community. Absolutely loved it, thought it was uh, hilarious. So, okay. I always remember playing this on, was it Ridge Racer on the PSP? <laughs> okay. But you know what? Whenever I played it on the Ridge, uh, whenever I played it on, uh, on the PSP, I was just waiting for it so I could uh, I could go ahead and play Tekken. Ah, smashed. <laughs> okay, you kind of best to press it before the turn, right? You can't can't do it as you're on the turn. Commit before. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to this getting released, and uh, a lot of other people trying it, and uh, you know, discovering some uh, some old treasures as well as some uh, new games. Ah, oh, awesome, cool. This is probably the first time. Okay, now I thought I'd done a level there, different coloured flag and whatnot. Ah, Kamikaze got done. Right, wicked. What was next? Uh, Marco Penguin uh, Adventure is is banging. Yes, we can uh, we can definitely have a look at that. So let's have a look. Rally X Rainbow Islands. Oh, Gradius. Okay, um, Gradius for SNK Kev coming up. Let's have a look. So Gradius. So we we ran Gradius two, didn't we? Uh, AKA Nemesis. Uh, so let's go and here we go. Gradius one. This was actually good. I, I did try this out. I might have to um I might have to go again and go into course settings, swap mapper, and put it back on the Konami one, right? So and hopefully that will kind of sort it out. Wicked. Um yeah, time pilot, time pilot, yeah, transactor. Uh, definitely have to kind of get that done. That's that's an amazing game. Absolutely love it, man. 
Look at that. Look at that screen, guys. It is wicked. Absolutely love it, man. Absolutely love it. Um, SNK Kev, how are you? Uh, did you have any extra exams today? I know you had the philosophy paper yesterday, right? Um, any exams today? Guys, I'm finding this mesmerizing, right? This definitely, look. Whatever Konami were going for, Star Wars influenced them, them right? Uh, influenced uh, Star Wars influenced Nemesis, especially that title screen, right? Kind of reminds you of um, like maybe like an X-wing or something approaching a Death Star, or even like maybe something like the Millennium Falcon. Not not quite sure. The ship's a little bit different. It's you know Vic Viper's Vic Viper, right? Back in, hey, hey, look. What's really funny, right? Is it's got speed up written on Gradius One. But it hasn't got it written on Gradius 2, which is which is kind of funny, right? You'd expect it. Right, need to get the laser as, as quick as possible, man. This fire is just not, not that great. I have to say, though, I'm kind of digging Gradius 1 over Gradius 2. So you can actually... So there's, there's two levels to the missile. You can upgrade them. But before I upgrade them, I just want to get the laser, man. The laser just makes a world of difference, right? I don't know why. Does anyone ever like the double shot? I, I've never ever liked the double shot. Uh, don't get me wrong. In Parodius, there's there's different shots that are quite good, and and sometimes it's worth picking one uh, that you know instead of like the laser shot and whatnot. But um, yeah, in, in the double shot for Vic Viper, I've, I've never ever liked. It's only something I've picked by accident, um, or when I tried it, I kind of regretted it. Still like the theme of, you know, red enemies give you power-ups. What? I thought I grabbed that. Ah, there was two down there. No, I missed those. I could have had my option by now. So that red enemy should be a power-up. Again, absolutely love it. You know, it's limited to the colours you've got, right? But you know, once uh, once you get a red enemy, you're getting a power-up. And the red colour's good, right? Because I can spot it even though I'm colourblind. Like, I can like, nope, that one's red. No, okay, uh, that one confused me. They're a bit... Oh, did I? I thought I got that one. So I've got the, I've got the laser. I've got the. What's the word? Ooh, what's the sweet spot? Is it here? Ooh. Again, it's very, very responsive playing this stuff. Right, it might be old, but guys, this is responsive. Now I don't know what MSX software emulation is like, right? But you know, this, this call, like again, one of the reasons why we like FPJ gaming so much. <laughs> I'll say that and I'll die. And again, look, this is the worst thing about these games. Once you die, man, you are dead. You are just no good, man. I'll, I'll go slow, but I'll take missile first, right? I've got speed now. Always one speed. Never liked anything more than that. Let's go double. Why not? Nah, I shouldn't have gone there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a waste. <laughs> but I'll see what it's like with with options if I can uh, if I can get so far, right? Or maybe maybe this top shot is gonna save me, right? I mean these volcanoes last a long time. Oh, it did. Look at. Oh, it didn't over there. Cool. All right. What is next, guys? After greatest penguin adventure, guys. Penguin Ad adventure, right? Uh, this is something that Vampir taught me. Uh, is actually the first game that Hideo, Hideo Kojima, um, the the maker best known for Metal Gear, uh, actually made. So that's his first game. He actually um, sent me a video uh, of um, sent me a video of Metal Gear Solid Four and. A scene in Metal Gear Solid 4 where somebody is actually playing um, Penguin Adventure, which is very, very neat, right? Like, absolutely amazing. Um, I really want to play Metal Gear Solid 4. I really wish if there was a PC release for that. I mean, I've got it on PlayStation 3, but my, my PlayStation 3 is uh, packed up. All the games are put away and everything, so it's not something there. Uh, emulation isn't that great on, on handhelds, at least, so... Uh, that's that. Okay, so guys, what you what you're a penguin, right? Let's 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 get ourselves some fish. But again, right? What I want you guys to think here, right? And this is where you can see how good Hideo Kojima is, right? Look at the quality of the games that we had a look at, right? Now look at look at look at this stuff that Hideo Kojima has put out, right? 
the way the trees and everything are moving it looks like he's potentially pushing this technology further than maybe a lot of other developers out there the way the levels kind of moving forward the trees on the side um it definitely definitely looks good um so it's just interesting to see you know hideo kojima's first first ever game before he started the you know i mean hideo kojima's always done some really really cutting edge and some right right weird stuff out there i mean to this day metal, metal gear solid one is like one of the best games i've played right uh, if anyone hasn't played metal gear solid one then i'm going to say something that's a spoiler right but i imagine most of you guys have played metal gear solid one so just uh you know i'm going to count down from three uh just maybe turn the sound away if you intend to play metal gear solid and you don't want to hear a spoiler so three two one guys when you find out in metal gear solid one that naomi was a traitor like that seriously broke my heart man like i was it, it affected me like i was like no i did not see that coming you know so emo emotionally invested in that game man that when i when i found out naomi was that traitor man it it, it it broke me as much as a video game can broke me you know for like a couple of minutes or five minutes thinking no uh but then i was all right anyway guys spoiler alert over <laughs> There's probably like three people in the world that haven't played MGS1. It is such a fantastic game. However, guys, like, what do you think about MGS1 now, right? Like, I find it difficult to go back to it. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I could get a cloud there. That was interesting. Um, wow, look how fast that's moving now, right? So, yeah, going back to Metal Gear 1 now, I find it really, really difficult to go back to those controls. Um... I just find it tough guys it's 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 tough controls um so i can't wait if they completely remake it i know they're completely remaking uh metal gear solid 3 and that that looks good uh, that looks good i think i've kind of seen like a little peek or a little teaser trailer of it that that looks good that's something i want to play i mean i'm still tempted to play metal gear solid right okay no don't tell me did i make it no okay let's move on to the next game i was hoping i made it to stage two i did make it to stage two uh, stage two before because stage two was um stage two where you're in some kind of cavern so what we're doing now we are doing comic bakery so let's go comic bakery again like weird names for games right no idea what they are right i i i are, are you like are you a comic shop stroke bakery right or is it like comic as in funny bakery right so let's go comic bakery and hopefully it's here oh, yep comic bakery oh it's by konami as well so hopefully um the correct um the correct uh yeah the cr the correct mapper is there let me have a look at some of the chat just to catch up with some of it yeah absolutely great soundtrack for that man for penguin adventure wicked push forward oh okay cool <laughs> sorry too late now vampire uh push forward to speed up right okay it kind of sped up by itself there as well also you can fall down some small cracks press forward <laughs> wicked sorry guys it must have been frustrating for you guys to watch it all i did play it for some time i do apologize man but when i'm looking at that it's a bit too difficult to actually uh, have a um, have a look and turn okay comic bakery right i need to kind of figure this out i, I kind of get the feeling i'm gonna suck on this it reminds me of like game and watch stuff okay right ah <laughs> uh, okay get out of here ah ha, ha, wicked right so it's back on again like digging this soundtrack man just happy vibes man these are the kind of soundtracks oh i could fire up as well interesting so how do i get rid of that one no okay i can't oh okay there's, there's a few ah okay with it yankee doodle right that's the soundtrack yankee doodle went to town and sat on a double rainbow god knows what he did up there but actually I, I, why, why am i even saying that i'll show myself out but it's my live stream so if i show myself out the stream ends so sorry guys here you go let me get that one up there <laughs> okay cool oh, i can dig this game right i can uh, i can dig this game Okay, cool. Right, let's have a look at the next game, right? Because we're, we're getting a few requests. We're getting Time Pilot and Trazacta. I'm very, very happy to, to kind of see that, right? Yeah, Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> TMS, Bomberman. I'm not sure if we have Bomberman on MSX1. There was a game called Eric and Something, which we ran at the beginning, which was the inspiration uh, for Bomberman. So uh, what well, we're looking at Time Pilot now, man. And Time Pilot, guys... I used to play this on the 2600 and I'm sure it's it's better on the MSX, right? There's a, there's a better version uh, of it 
on uh, on MSX. Right, let's have a look. Titan Pilot. Wow. Well, okay, where are you? Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Time Pilot. There's a few versions of it, right? So Time Pilot Coleco version. Konami mirrored. What's going on? Okay, so let's um. Okay, let's just go with this one here, Coleco version. So I don't know if that's a port or anything there. <laughs> and yeah, you know, uh, T TMS, we got plenty of Yankees, man. Like 40 to 50% of my uh, viewer base is actually from the US of A. So uh, awesome stuff there. Absolutely love it. Like, to be honest, like, I've got a mixed bag, man. There's, there's a whole bunch of different people there. And pretty much everyone is just awesome, man. Like, you guys are just awesome. Like, I, I seriously, I was going to cancel this live stream today only because I was like, let me get my weekly video finished, man. I need to get it. I need to get it finished, right? Uh, but I'm going to try and stay up late and uh, finish that video tonight after this stream. So maybe, maybe the longest it will be is like two hours. I mean, I'm, I'm always having fun with streams, right? Uh, press button on gamepad. I'm pressing a button on the gamepad. Let me press a button on the keyboard. Uh, see if anything kind of happens there. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. No? Okay. Is it a wrong mapper? Is it a mapper thing? Let's have a look. I, I definitely got Time Pilot to work before. So let's go on this one here. Maybe it's going to work now. Oh, okay. What, uh, okay, skill one, one player. Right, so let's, let's press one. Oh, here we go. Cool. It's, oh, no, this is something else. Sorry, the one I'm thinking of was Rigor, uh, River Raid. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, of combat. And I think someone kind of mentioned something uh, a relation to this when we looked at this at another time. Okay. Oh, that's interesting, the controls. I thought it was like left, right. But okay, up kind of shoots you right. Okay. Interesting control scheme. Doable, nonetheless. Uh, it's not just left, right, like tank controls. It's kind of like you can move it like you can do a complete 180 moving it down and up. Uh, but like up, down, left, right will face you in that direction, but it will turn there slowly so you can hold it and kind of, you know, like for example, when I shoot diagonal, um, like let's, let's, let's have a look. Okay, get ready, time pilot. Right, here we go. Um, so yeah, here we go. So if I, uh, like if I want to go left, if I hold it, it will just go left, right? But if I, if I go back up, right, and I just tap it left, I'll be able to get the diagonal. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's actually quite, it's quite decent controls. I was kind of expecting it to be tank controls all the way. <laughs> Even though my gameplay is definitely not reflective of that, right? Um, is there like an arcade version of this game? I think maybe maybe Jimmy Stones, right? Jimmy Stones, cool guy, really nice guy as well. Uh, a fellow UK guy. I think he uh, he's from Up Reading, so not too far from me uh, as far as, you know, geography in the country goes. Um, I think he's done like the... Oh, he's working. Is he working on the arcade core of this? I think he was talking about some background to use or something, if uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's, um, it's a little bit before my time. So even though I cover it and I like checking it out and I like playing this stuff... Um, you know, it's not. It, do, it doesn't excite me as much as say something like Sega System 18 or something like that coming. So you know, we know we know this stuff out there, right? Okay, so that's Time Pilot. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so Nightmare, right? Let's have a look at Nightmare next. It's good, guys. You're getting plenty of requests coming in. Uh, so that's that's cool. That's awesome of you guys. So let's have a look at Nightmare now. I I would be blown away, right, if it was that British TV show called Nightmare and it was a a um. It was a video game adaptation of that, which which I think is very, very unlikely. But you know what? Okay, let's go back and 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 then what we're doing. Course settings, mapper, it's a Konami game, right? So it's nice that it says Konami in uh, the actual... Um, it says Konami in the title, no? It did say Konami in the title. I'm sure it did. Okay, Nightmare. Right, okay. Let's try this one now. Uh, SNK Kip, thank you, man. Always so kind. <laughs> did you see my message in Discord on Mars? I did. I replied to it as well. The one uh, where you got yourself the mist, yeah? So that's absolutely awesome, man. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, if it was the mist one, yes, I did see... Oh, wow. Okay, banging. Well, he's definitely got the helmet, right, from the Nightmare TV show. If anyone remembers that. In the UK, we had a show called... Um, we had... Um, yeah, we had uh, we had a show, a show called Nightmare, where someone had a helmet and they couldn't see where they were going. It was all like interactive surroundings, them, and their team would tell them like up, down, left, right. There's a bucket ahead of you. Like grab the bucket, and you know you'll get this, that, and the other. I mean, it was it was good, right? It was okay. Ah, oh, cool. All right, so that means I can get something down here if the screen doesn't scroll up. Okay, cool. 
Guys, this game's good, you know. This game's good. I'll dig it. 100% dig it. No way. Look at that. Have I turned invincible or invisible? Guys, this would have been my game, you know. This would have been my game. On the, on the Sega Master System, one of my favorite games, and it's one of my favorite games to this day. And that's why I always warn people, be careful of rocks, right? Because rocks can harm you. And that is the Ninja. And there's many reasons for us liking the Ninja. It was one of the games that was, instead of on a cartridge, it was on a card. And it was always the cheapest sh uh, game inside the shop, right? Whereas cartridges might have been like £20 plus. Ninja was like £7. So everyone ended up getting it, right? But I just absolutely loved it. It had the two buttons. One fired straight. The other would fire in whatever direction you're moving your uh, mask system controller in and spoiler alert if you see stones in there they turn into ninjas and the ninjas come at you so uh be wary of stones in this game guys i like this game man thank you whoever recommended this in chat oh it's actually frozen look how good that is wow guys this game is banging love it absolutely love it um it's difficult to say right what the best game would be so far this might be a contender, you know, guys. This might be a contender. I really do like this game. It plays well. And and like like with like I found out with MSX, some of the stuff it suffers from is that kind of jerking when when you know the background especially is kind of scrolling. And we can see it over here. But I can live with that, right? If that's the limitation of the hardware. Now if I if I had this hardware, I would recognize it straight away and I'd get that nostalgia kick. But being someone that hasn't had this. You know, I would prefer it if it if it didn't. Guys, if I'm going to get into a boss fight, like, I am going to be amazed. I am going to be amazed, amazed, amazed. You know, because the funny thing is, games back in that era, they didn't really have boss fights, right? When did boss fights really, really start coming into existence, right? Oh, I'm super fast now. Oh, I can just hit them now. I'm invincible. Guys, this is banging. So boss fights came in maybe maybe yeah eight eight like kind of NES Master System era uh, really really got big in the 16-bit era but I remember computer games Atari uh, Commodore 64 you just kind of done the level right there weren't there weren't really too many boss fights uh, if someone else you know knows a lot about the boss fights or anything then uh, yeah hit me up below guys you know I need to move on to the next game I could I could legit play this game for quite a bit of time man I like it. Yeah, I, I, I like this game a lot. Um, this is something I'll be playing in like handheld mode, like just to kind of chill with. It's it's got that playability, and I, 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 you know, like I say, a lot of the old games I play is because I have nostalgia for them. I, I haven't. I just I just like this game. This game's this game's wicked, wicked. I mean, I was I was I was I was literally gonna I was gonna cack my pants if I if I if I got into a boss fight. But I love the way you've got the power ups there. You can shoot it different colors. Kind of reminds me of like bells and whistles, right? Um, or like Parodius, where you shoot different bells. Well, to be honest, even Parodius, I think that power-up system's may maybe based on bells and whistles, or vice versa. Again, absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm gonna have to move to the next one, right? Uh, where I mean, Nightmare. Okay, Wicked. Uh, oh, okay, that's gone down. I need to kind of move up a bit. Well, there's been quite a lot of chat, man. I haven't... Um... Okay, I'm, I'm quite far up. Right, okay, so let's go Hero now. Uh, one to start. Wicked, thanks, Marcus. Let's go Hero. Okay, absolutely banging. Absolutely banging. Uh, wicked. Ah, oh, Wicked is the first one here. So let me... Uh, well, hopefully there'll be something there. I just want to kind of catch up with chat. Let me, let me highlight uh, the latest game we've got here. Okay, cool. So I can kind of go back to that. Okay, Wicked. Chris says uh, Rainbow Islands is in M um, MSX. So I'm really looking forward to MS MSX2, you know. When that, when that call happens, I mean, the original uh, Metal Gear will be fantastic, like Bomberman. There's some games people mention, right, that kind of show up on there, right? Okay, so that hasn't gone with that one. So let's go to a different mapper. Again, I kind of like tried this one, and this one I've had a lot of success with. <laughs> Not in this case, right? It's crashing the computer. So let's go. Oops. Okay, so let's go select mapper. Right, well, let's try this one. Game Master 2, is this going to work? Nope, okay. Core settings, mapper. So, what's this one here? Nope. So, okay, let's try this one. Oh, okay, cool. This one's worked. See, again, different different mappers, man. Wicked. Um right let me go down on chat yeah hero wicked um 
What's happened? Uh, Yata, Yata Garros, in regard to Mars, guys, it's um, they're keeping a low profile at the moment. They're, they're working hard. Uh, some of the members like Todd Gill and uh, another developer uh, was talking about they're, they're doing a lot of work in the background. So, you know, let's let's see. They may pop out with something. I did actually advise them uh, privately, um, you know, when they missed the quarter one target, that, guys, you need to... Um, what you need to do is you need to... Um, you need to just hold it down. And when you've got something, you know, something good that's not already done, something new, uh, a new chord, then come out guns blazing. And and to be honest, giving them that ad advice was kind of like one of the things that kind of triggered what triggered between us for some reason. But never mind. Some people think you've got an, another angle for advice. Maybe some people do. I didn't. I was genuinely giving them advice. Um, but yeah, so Mars, 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 let's see if they surface with something. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't want to go too much into it. I kind of done my video uh, on Mars. So we will kind of leave that be. Today is about msx <laughs> and governor's still in the house tank 1990 i don't know if we've got that tank 1990 uh, we'll have a look um kato uh wicked how's work uh work is work is what i mean i mean i'm i'm off at the moment and um yeah it's 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 definitely it's calming down the storm is calming down it's 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 good i mean it's 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 all right you know like uh my previous boss was absolutely awesome it'll be he's irreplaceable right but you know it is work and and it's 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 work right it's not a fun place or as much fun as it used to be but it's not completely bad right uh snk kev gradius definitely eats the quarters uh wow there's a lot of chat to kind of chat up for man uh chris Muller sadly got to leave no worries man chris if you're still here goodbye thank you for tuning in and contributing absolutely appreciate it it's a fun game mazer galleon is great yeah we we had a look at uh mazer gallius i think at the beginning quite possibly vampire uh wicked um right have a look <laughs> okay uh wow there's a there's a decent bit of chat okay gov wicked got a goal have a good stream brother nice one gov uh absolutely wicked guys so yeah guys gov is uh my old boss uh he's just kind of dropping in that's why when i was saying earlier i miss you i was kind of doing that but i try and keep a lot of the work stuff directly out of there you know especially since you know my boss is my old boss of like 12 years isn't my boss anymore uh where's mazamars we need msx overdrive call yo man mazamars is working on stuff uh, some stuff guys like you know but i'll tell you you one thing about Mazamars, right? When Mazamars works, guys, he just works fast. Like I've been speaking to him, and he's like, "Oh, you know what? By the way, I'm working on this." I'm like, "Okay, cool." And then what happens then is all of a sudden, what well, um, Mazamars is like, "Oh, I think it's going to take me like a few days to do this, right?" And then two hours later, four hours later, he's like, "Oh, Pixel, by the way, have a look at this. Uh, awesome. Oh, Marco, Marco, thank you, man. That's that's super generous of you, man. Absolutely wicked, man." Um, Thank you, thank you. That's that's awesome, man. It definitely helps out, helps the channel. Absolutely wicked, absolutely awesome, guys. That that's super generous of you guys, man. Thank you so much, Marco. Um, so okay, what we're looking at? Well, right, let's try and do a little bit hero. Ninja Jaja Maru Kun. Okay, so um, Marcus, so Ninja Jaja Maru. Like I've played some of the later games and I like them. I like them on the on the Game Boy. There's a a long time subscriber of the channel, right? And like I'm bad with names, but uh, people that have been around for a long time and I've interacted with, right? Oh, it's one to start, wasn't it? Here we go. Um, oh wow. Okay, so people that I've interacted with a long time, a guy called Tarek, he kind of put me on to Ninja Jaja Maru, right? And I kind of like that, right? Okay, what's going on? Okay, so I'm kind of... Wait, how do I... Guys, any any pointers out here? <laughs> Ori, the retro gamer. Hi, my bro. How you doing? Hope you, hope you had a good day today. Um, ah, okay. Oh, right. Got ya, got ya. So... <laughs> Did I just blow myself up? I blew myself up. Right, so... Okay. Ah, uh, so it takes a few seconds to... Ah, uh, okay. So I need to plant the bomb down here. Ah, uh, man, that went off too quick. Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> Wicked. Hey, man, I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> it looks like he's pointing at my wiener. Right, so how do I... Okay, cool. Wicked. Nice. Is there anything down here? <laughs> Love it. Ah, I nearly walked in that spider. Yeah, this game's banging, guys. But man, you need to lay that bomb down and run away quick. Okay, let's get out of here. Right, so when you move up, it doesn't take you straight up, right? It, um, what the hell? Okay, cool. Right, okay. Not really much of a hero anymore. Right, let's look for Ninja Jarjamaru, right? 
Sur I'll be surprised if that's on here, but you know what? Who, who knows, right? There's there's a lot of interesting stuff on here. And what one thing I really do like about this system, right? I only played like the more Western computers, right? Commodore 64, Spectrum, Atari. The, the thing I like about the MSX is it's got that... Oh, here we go. Ninja Jajamaru Kun. Wicked. Uh, it's got that Japanese... Some of the games have that real Japanese feel to it, man. It is. It really, really is awesome, man. Um, really, really awesome. Like, just nice to see. It's almost like an alternative side to it. You know, we've got... We've got, like, the Western games. And now we've got... You know, we've got... Uh, we've got the Eastern games. Okay, I might need to use a different mapper. Unless... Is it going to start? now? Nah, definitely need a different mapper. Okay, so, so oh, sorry. Kind of again. Oh, oh, by the way, sorry. While we're here, right? Let's let's just have a look at what games are on here. So these are the games on MSX Two. All right. Let's just go. We've got Metal Gear. Oh, we can have a look to see. I won't go through all of them because they're in. Uh, have we got? Oh, here we go. Metal Gear. Metal Gear Two. Wow. Once the core comes out on handheld, that would be interesting to check out, right? Uh, you know, Metal Gear. Let's see if Rainbow Islands is there, right? Because someone mentioned. Who Rastan's on here? I can't wait for number two, man. Okay, no Rainbow Islands in here, but it, it, that definitely doesn't mean it's not out. It just mean maybe means I don't actually have it. But uh, wow, guys, Rastan's on here and uh, our type enhanced patch. And that's that's super interesting, right? So let's go and uh, let's change the map. Let's go back to Auto and hopefully that does it. I really do like it when Auto, yeah, Auto's working this time. So Auto is fantastic, right? Uh, I'm seeing some of the stuff at the bottom, Hero. Uh, the game on the okay wow well, okay I didn't know Hero was on the Atari 2600 uh, Marco uh, I need to kind of play the Atari 2600 uh, a little bit uh, more as well um, some of the games on there I really used to dig Spider-Man on that Spider-Man Combat River Raid um, yeah those those uh, Pitfall as well Pitfall was fantastic on that really really good uh, Wicked uh, from Ori uh, oh Wicked you got the the fat and uh, the fat and you got the Saturn core working uh, that's awesome bad BIOS okay cool cool no worries man um, that's absolutely awesome and okay we'll get down to hang on right now I'm quite up the chat so we're on wow okay Ninja Jaja Maru so there's a new game of this or collection that came out for the Switch and it had some exclusive ROM in it and there's been some different ROM hacks again like a long time subscriber of the channel. Uh, put me onto this, put me kind of onto these games, man. And uh, you know what I was doing, like Game Boy stuff, like it was good. Wow. Can I jump up? Oh, okay. Wicked. So I, I headbutt the walls, right? Not bad, because I'm a ninja. That's what we do. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> Again, such charming little games, man. So, uh, okay. Is there something there or is that a bomb? Oh, okay, okay, I can't, all right, okay. Just trying to work out what's what, right? So I wasn't paying attention to whatever the, whatever that trap was. So if I jump here, okay, so, that, so that's clear, right? Okay, that, there's something, I don't want to chance it. That looks like something good. Yeah, it is something good. <laughs> and that's clear. Oh, do I need to destroy all of these things? Oops. Okay. There's limited range to... Oh, okay, I like how their ninja stars nullifies my ninja star. That's that's fairly awesome. Yeah, give me some money, man. So this is this is a well-loved series. There's been a lot of games, man. There's been like some... I think there's some on the Saturn as well, some 3D ones. I don't know why I'm getting jump and, uh, jump and attack mixed over. Right, what have we got after that? Okay, um... Rainbow Islands is on MX2. Right, so, okay, just going down here to see what other games we kind of got popping out. Uh, okay, so my, 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 my ex-boss asked me for Tank 1990, but that's not there. Okay, so, uh, TMS says Herzog, and that's where I am now in the chat. I'm kind of looking at the current chat, like, breezing across it as well. Oh, wow, Charger Maru can get into a vehicle, so... But right now, we are going to look at Herzog. Herzog. Yeah, some of these names, that it's I can't believe they're real, right? I'm like, is that really a game, or am I being trolled here? Is there a Herzog game? Herzog, Herzog... No, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look if it's in no intro. Oops. No, nothing here called Herzog. I've got a third folder as well, which was, was it good MSX? Hmm. 
No, no, no Herzogs as well. Okay, cool. What's what else have we got? Uh wicked. Oh man, right, okay. Uh right. Sorry, I've got something displaying on my window that I just don't Right, okay, what else? Gradius. Okay, cool. Right, let me have a look. Um Momo oh Mo is it Momoko? Right, vampire vampire saying Momoko. Let me go back to the created list. And let's go back to M. Is that Momoko? I don't know if that's a game or not. Right, let's have a look. We'll find that soon enough. No, okay. Let me just run something as well. So, <laughs> Monster Hunter. <laughs> that ain't Monster Hunter, but I'm a big Monster Hunter fan. So, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with that, right? <laughs> uh, wicked. Um, no, do you know what, TMS? Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. I've got no. I, I don't really game in front of the TV unless I'm either doing videos or live streams. I'm. I'm. I'm pretty much a handheld gamer, uh, and I'll tell you why as well. I spend so much time in front of like my PC and my desk doing the YouTube stuff that I don't want to sit here playing games, right? So when I play, I kind of want to relax uh, uh, and play, and that's why I stick to the handhelds, right? Because I can relax and play. I, I don't know. Is, it, is this a Konami game? Oh, okay, cool. Wow, right, that, that worked with a Konami mapper. Is it a Konami game though? Okay. No way. <laughs> we got Monster Hunter, man. Who's looking forward to uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, guys? I am uh, I am looking forward to I'm looking forward to that man big time. Right. Someone's put Bomberman in here. I don't think Bomberman is here, TMS, unless someone else in chat kind of points out that it's not, but we can we can have a look for it, right? Oh stop. No way. <laughs> Okay, it's definitely not the Monster Hunter I'm thinking, right? But let's go. I'll measure the castles up. So this is like is this like a Zelda type of Zelda type of game? North Caleste, East Palace. Okay, cool. Guys, this game's banging, no? Like, I wonder if it turns out to be a good adventure. But you know, you've got those Zelda vibes here, right? Okay. Can't just walk into someone's house at least in this game the local neighborhood of wires right because you can't just go in their house smash the pots uh nickel their gold and just kind of duck out while they're standing around right no one likes that yes sir i need to talk to the king okay right okay again interesting i like i like digging the artwork of the characters and everything in here oh you can speak to soul right better call soul <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's not let's not dive too deep into this, right? Uh, let's have a look. See if there's a Bomberman game, and let's have a look. Uh, Bomberman. I don't think there is Bomberman on here, right? Well, I'm gonna I'm only gonna check one of the folders. We've got. I can run that game again. That that Eric game, right? Which is which is the inspiration for Bomberman. Nah, we haven't got it. We've got Bomb Jack though. That that's 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 kind of interesting. But you know what? Let's go. This game here, this is, this is, so this game um, is the inspiration to Bomberman TMS uh, because Vampire kind of pointed me out to a few games and he kind of pointed this one out as an inspiration to Bomberman. You can see it straight away, right? Ah, <laughs> Okay, I'm just fighting one balloon, right? Come on, come down here, get yourself blown up. Here, who's a good balloon? Awesome stuff. <laughs> so one enemy, one game. So wow, this is the inspiration to that, man. Like, how, ah, <laughs> Right, I kind of like the way he's kind of his hat disappears and his hair pops out. So now, now it's man versus two balloons, right? Balloons are a little bit scary. I have, ah, oh, come on! I'm trying to do that fast one. All right. Oh, it's game over. Wicked. That was quick. So what are we doing next now? Um, wicked. Uh, oh, Eric and the Float is in the rebranded version. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Yeah, I haven't got the rebranded version. I don't think. Uh, right. Let's go down. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at chat to try and find something. Yep, my, my buddy Vampire is from Belgium. Belgium, nice place. Good people there, man. Good people in uh, in Belgium for everything that I've seen. Uh, let's have a look. Um, what else is there? I think someone said, like, hang on, did they? Uh, wicked. Uh, okay, hang on. Is, was hang on out for this? Hang on a minute and I'll check if we've got hang on. Okay. 
Okay, do we have hang on? Oh, we have. Okay, wow. Okay, interesting. So I guess this is going to be similar to like the Master System version, which I really liked, right? Remember when we had... Uh, oh, okay, that's, that's actually loaded. Um, do you remember... Do you remember the... Do you remember the Master Systems? And it had... Um, they had... Um, they had... Hang on, built in some... Built in in some of them. Why are these guys overtaking me, man? Nah, there's something there's something wrong here, man. I'm not... Okay, that's my brake button. Oh, okay, I need to... Right, okay, this is really weird. I need to move it down to accelerate, right? So I was holding the button down. Oh, it's maybe down to do gear. Maybe I was in the wrong gear then. <laughs> okay. Let's go again. Ah, okay, yep. Yeah, so... Ah, right, I can see the gear thing there. Low, medium, top. Let's go top now. Okay, cool. So up and down to change gear. Ooh, let's go down a bit. Guys, this, this game's this game's pretty cool, you know. I have to say it's 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 fairly cool. It's it's holding decent. <laughs> Apart from like when I bump into a motorbike, I get blown up, so good soundtrack. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully it's kinda of ah <laughs> Wicked And guys, once again, man Just got to send a big shout out to uh, Marcus Jordan, man Wicked guy, wicked core And uh, yeah, what a nice surprise To be getting this uh, for the analog pocket, man I know a lot of people um, Right, so uh, in regard to Commodore 64 That's something that Bud Dude 2 was working on Then all of a sudden he, um, he, he released like, uh, you know, the Game Boy Core with RTC and Fast Forward So that's awesome uh, But hopefully, you know, we'll get a Commodore 64 core from him Because I, 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 that's one system I'm kind of looking forward to playing, right? Because I had a Commodore 64 And it'll be, it'll be like a case of nostalgia in my pocket, you know? Because there's a lot of games I've forgotten on that system. In fact, I can't remember the get a lot of games I really used to enjoy on that system. So playing it, playing it again on like the Unlock Pocket, having it in my having it in my pocket and playing the games on there, I think it will be um, it'll be good times, man. Good times for sure. Again, like digging digging the graphics. Look at those skyscrapers there, man. How good are they, guys? How good are they? Yeah, this is cool. Right, what's uh, anyone else got another game? Let's uh, let's check something out. Yeah, Ori, with we can do Goonies next, man. I've just seen Goonies in there. Goonies is is banging, guys. What's a game? Uh, now I'm pretty sure Goonies it must have been out for other systems as well, right? It, it might likely be a port, but man, is it a good game? Uh, where are we? No, where's okay? Not in here. Okay, so I think I might have to go into the no intro one to get that. Unless, you know, it should be on the G, right? Because the way they index this stuff, they put the after. So that's that's cool. Um, oh, in fact, there's a game that I kind of... Oh, here we go. The Goonies, right? So this is good. There's a game called like, Final Justice that looks really good as well. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm kind of seeing Moon Patrol down there somewhere down the line. That that looks that looks, that looks looks awesome to me. We could have kind of caught up with kind of chat now. So that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, I hope everyone does have a good weekend. Look at that. Wow. Hey, you guys. Oh. I forgot to, I had this lined up as well. Guys, there is channel merchandise now. Uh, if you want to get a Pixel Cherry Ninja t-shirts, or you want to get a Pixel Cherry Ninja baseball cap, you know what, guys? <laughs> you can get that stuff. Let me show you that again. Wicked. Uh, there's other stuff as well that you can get, but this stuff's available. And um, it, it helps the channel, right? It, it goes, uh, I'm working with Dineto, a friend of mine, uh, over from uh, Mr. FPGA Gaming, Dis uh, Mr. FPGA Discord. Uh, so what he's um, what he's done is he's um, he makes the designs. But we've decided between us that we will be uh, donating ten percent of profits uh, to core development. So 
Um, so not sure it'll be it'll be uh, Mr. or FPGA or both, but it'll be definitely going to the community. Likely, to be honest, it'll be going Mr. first because uh, I know Deneto uh, from uh, the Mr. FPGA Gaming Discord. Uh, so hopefully soon I'll have like an analog pocket design as well for a t-shirt. At the moment, I don't have one. I've got a t-shirt that says um, Mr. is King because you know, as far as I'm concerned, don't get me wrong, I love the analog pocket, I'm playing it now, but I really do think Mr. is uh, the king of FPGA gaming consoles, man. It's just absolutely fantastic. Oh, okay, got to rescue the kids, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Mr. Mr. is really, really good. It's very, very versatile. You can use any controller and I absolutely love it. And Analog Pocket is just coming along so nice, guys. Like, with all these calls we're getting for it, it is just an amazing hybrid console. So I always say, you know, I absolutely love both the machines, right? Analog Pocket has its place for me. That's why I've got that as well as the Mr. But I actually, when I'm actually playing for fun, I actually play the Pocket more. Just because, you know, going back to that thing of... I'm a handheld gamer, man. You know, that's that's where I play my games. My youngest kid's like me. He likes handheld gaming as well. It's because his brother always hogs the TV. So he was kind of reduced to playing like the DS when he was younger. And then uh, now he's moved over to the Switch. I, got, I gave him the Steam Deck, but he kind of dropped it a few times and broke the button so i had to do an rma on it uh two days before the guarantee i told uh, steam are really really good right i told them that this button's damaged you know accidental damage and they said no problem send it in we'll repair it for you so i got a lot of respect for uh i got a lot of respect for valve on that right they could have charged me or just said no you've damaged it yourself um so i kind of had to take that back from him i was like look you're too young for it i think he was seven at the time he kept dropping it but what i did buy is i bought him a rog ally yesterday right because it was very, very cheap like ebay had 20 percent off max discount 75 pounds uh so i ended up paying um 365 pounds for a rogue ally and i thought you know what i'll buy him that and uh you know my middle son him and me can play monster hunter me on the steam deck on my laptop it'll be the steam deck him on like the other one so that's that's banging man um right wicked um right what game did i say there was final justice right so let's go final justice right because Guys, Final Justice is is oh man, it's 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 good. Uh, for for fun. Okay, it, sorry, I'm kind of. Oh, here we go. Guys, this is a very very good smup. Um, I thought it was going to be like a beat 'em up or something, right? Like Final Justice, Final Fight, or whatever it is, you know. Uh, but it's a very very good smup. I have to say, really really did like it. Uh, Ninja Princess, okay. Uh, are you calling me a Ninja Princess? Oh, no, no. I know you're not. You're looking for a game. Wicked TMS. I see it in there and it's standing out and I appreciate it. Congo Bongo. Haha, -ha, wicked. Love it. That's one of the games that um, actually Boogerman, the, the developer of this call, he's brought Congo Bongo over to uh, the Unlock Pocket. But he's brought it over, um, yeah, he's brought it over as a core, the arcade version of it. So that's that's absolutely awesome. Uh, we can definitely check that. So let's let's do this game. This was my choice. Very, very playable. I love shmups, right? Get past the graphics and everything. But man, this game just looks wow. Again, great soundtrack. Great patterns, everything. Everything about this game is just fantastic. Absolutely love it. I thought those blocks were power-ups, right? But they're, they're not power-ups, right? They're, they're not your friend. Wow. <laughs> I've got an energy bar. I took a hit. I've taken a hit. Whoop. I'm gonna die soon. Kind of like this, like it where you, you know, instead of like lives, you get hit, you lose that energy. So effectively, it's like four lives or something, but you get done right. So what we're we doing next? We are doing Ninja Princess next, right? So let's go, Ninja Princess. Uh, oh, actually, we could have just gone. No intro seems to be all right. I know the created ones, but we can pick our our um, our controller thing anyway. Uh, so let's go down. Hopefully it's here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Ninja Princess Japan. Okay. I was seeing if there was like a translation of it or something.
Yeah, do you know, do you know, Ori? Um, yeah, it's very similar to those old computers, man. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this, right? Is this like Ninja on the Mars? And it's made by Sega. Awesome. Uh, thank you for recommending this. Uh, was it TMS that recommended it? Yeah, it was. TMS. Ninja. Oh, so let me press one on the keyboard. Here we go. Yeah, man, banging. Love the way that scroll popped down and everything there. Awesome. Okay, that's. Oh, this is just like Ninja. Look, one button to fire in any direction, and one button just fires straight up. This is banging. I wonder if we're gonna get um stones uh, turning into ninjas, right? Oh, the volume's quite loud on this, but I'm gonna kind of leave it there for now. Is that gonna turn into a ninja? No. Okay, no. I really want to see a stone turn into a ninja. I, I, do you know what, guys? I love these games, right? Pokey and Rocky, loved it. Even though, the, right? So Pokey and Rocky, we shine. I've got that one for the Switch, right? But I really wish they had, like, one button just to fire straight up, or a button to lock the direction of your fire. Like, in that game, even the new Pokey and Rocky we shined, right? Which is, it's a great remake of, um, of the original Pokey and Rocky, right? But, you can't lock your fire, you know, which is, you kind of want that in the game. You can't just be shooting the way, you know, sometimes you want to walk back and fire ahead. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is cool, man. Ninja Princess is wicked. Ah, 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 they're gonna, ah, look at that! The, the stone turned into a ninja! Just like Ninja on the on the Master System. That is banging, guys. Absolutely banging. Guys, thanks, thanks for pointing this out. Like, the ninja, oh, wow! We got a boss fight, guys! We got ourselves a boss fight! Banging! Ah, the boss got me. Wicked. What a game. What a game, guys. Yeah, this is, this is a good game, man. Who would have thought, right, when, with technology moving forward, all this new stuff coming out, ah man, I'm, I'm sucking at doing this boss, man. And the boss looks like a butthead, look at his, look at the thing he's got on, man, that's like, whatever, 8-bit, he's got a, uh, he's got like one of those butt masks that people maybe wear, at, at, and oh, okay. Well, that was relatively easy. <laughs> Once I got the shots in, I got the shots in. Yeah, this is a, this is a good game, man, this is a good game. What was, uh, what was next after Ninja, oh, Congo Bongo. Oh, sorry, I was looking at chat there. Oh, wicked game over. Not good enough. Let's do Congo Bongo. Ninja Princess is good though. It's a good game. Uh, Congo Bongo. Okay. Uh, so let's go created. And hopefully, hopefully it's there, right? I mean, I'm, I'm hoping you guys. Oh, Chase HQ. We'll have to check that after. Um, Congo Bongo. Oh, it's there. Wicked. Nice one. I didn't actually realize it was Sega that done that game. Wicked. Oh, is it two buttons to vanish in that? Ah, oh, man, I'm off that game now. That's that's interesting. So Congo Bongo's like that isometric look one, right? If I remember the arcade game. So the arcade game uh, had that kind of isometric. Yep, it has. It has. It's got that one. We kind of need to... Now, I find a lot of the isometric stuff very, very confusing. So I, I, I imagine all I'm doing is dodging this stuff. And am I getting to the top? No, I fell into the river. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Oh, I can't touch the sides, man. <laughs> All right, let's do Chase HQ. It'd be interesting to see what it plays like, right? Chase HQ by Tato. Let's see, is the auto mapper going to pick it up? It looks like it is. Okay, so... Oh, wow, okay. That's interesting. Is this... This, look, this, this has got to be a spectrum port, right? Okay, so I've got to use the keyboard here. Keyboard's kind of frozen on me now. Let me go back and just load it again. And then quickly press maybe enter or space on the keyboard to see. No? Okay. Well, that, that's as far as we're going with Chase HQ. Anyone else got any... Um, Anyone else got any 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 recommendations or anything? Uh, Congo Bo <laughs> yeah, not looking so great to be honest. Um, the Ninja is a remake of Ninja Princess, uh, which was an arcade game. Okay, that's that's very interesting to know. Prime one, much much appreciated. Uh, oh, is it is it doing anything now? No. No. Okay. Cool. Nothing with my keyboard. Uh, any other suggestions? Right. Hit me up with Block Capitals. Just nothing but the game name in there. Block Capitals. But in the meantime. Let me pick a game that I really like, and it's only Atari, uh, but it's also available for this, and it is River Raid, guys. 
This game is banging. Absolutely love it. Alter Ego, no problem, Marcus. That is going to come next. Alter Ego, right? Uh, let's have a look. So, we're going to have to do... Map, uh, what time we got now? Oh, okay. 25 minutes tops, guys. And then uh, I'm gonna, kind of going to end this. Let's go auto. Hopefully it picks it up and begins the game. No? Okay. So... Uh, let's go this one. Like I said, this one always have a bit of success with it. No? Maybe not. Okay, so let's just start going through them. Uh, Game Master 2. Nope. Okay, can't be Konami, right? Can't be. It's not a Konami game, no. Um, no, is it this one? No. What would be interesting, right, is if it, rem if it remembers per game, which I, I don't think it does, but if it remembers per game what you remember, that would be an interesting thing. I don't know if that's actually uh, doable on uh, on the Unlock Pocket. Oh, here we go. Cool. So that one, whatever that was, ACSI. Oh, okay. Spy v Spy 2 sounds good to me. Sounds very, very good to me, in fact. Uh, but Spy v Spy 2, right? Um, so let me press 1 on the keyboard. Guys, love this game. Oh, I shouldn't have shut the fuel. So what you do, you go over the fuel. So I used to play this. This is one of my first gaming experiences ever, right? I used to play this on the Atari 2600. Now, I remember, I remember on the Atari 2600 some differences, right? Where your ship was white and the fuel cans, they were a little bit fatter. Uh, they were a little bit fatter. They were a little bit chubbier, right? Oh, okay. That kind of got me. But again, what a fantastic game, man. And this is why I say this thing brings me nostalgia. It's because of this, like games like this over here. Games that are played, that I'm playing on the MSX now. And this is likely the better version of the game, right? Compared to the Atari 2600. Wicked. Banging. Oh, didn't mean to shoot that. Oh, <laughs> oh man, the, the imagination, guys, right? I, I, like, seriously, as a kid, like, I don't know, I must have been like four or something when I played this, man. Absolutely loved it. I was just like, wow, video games are so awesome, man. And, uh, yeah. So darn good, man. Yeah, playing like a scrub there. All right, what have we got next? Anyone else came out with anything? Um, right, okay, yeah, what was it? Alter Ego next, right? So let's have a look at Alter Ego. Uh, wicked. Ah, right, here we go. Alter Ego, the new image. And let's see what mapper we require here. Maybe just go to Auto. So guys, when this call does come out, if 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 the thing is like this with the mapper as well, unless obviously, um, you know, like someone like Vampir, he does a lot of scripting work, a lot of um, a lot of databases and stuff, which 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 makes stuff easier. He does like a lot of stuff like the options, the, the best default options for like the Nintendo 64 core. So if something like that is integrated into the core and it automatically runs the best mapper. Excellent. If not, then obviously go to auto and, and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying out uh, like the other stuff. Sorry for anyone that's just come late. Let me just go into settings again. I just want to show you something that uh, Boogerman has put in here. So you've got enable joy to keyboard or joypad to keyboard, right? You can enable keyboard keys to um to the joypad right so you know your y key i can give it one of these keys right here you go x key i can give it one of these keys uh l i can you know here you go we've got a whole bunch of options here which i think is fantastic this is what was uh, so this is the video that i did was of the version of the core before and this is like an updated one that that um marcus uh boogerman gave me like I think three and a half hours, maybe three hours, four hours before the actual call, uh, before the stream was due to be aired. So that was interesting. Well, hold on, am I moving two people? Hey, this is this is interesting, right? Hello world. <laughs> what? Huh? Okay, this is this is this is twi. So do I? What do I do? I swap. Ah, uh, okay. Very, very interesting. This is a puzzle game, man. Wow. Ah, uh, okay, get it. I get it. I get it. Wow, this is, this is, this is interesting, guys. Okay. 
Oh, why can't I swap now? Okay. Oh, maybe I've got a number. Okay, I've got a number of swaps. Right, got ya. Interesting game though, guys. So, do I need to do one here? Get these. Uh, okay, so you want to do it with a minimal amount of moves possible, right? Okay, cool. No, interesting. Very, very interesting game, I have to say. Right, Spy vs. Spy 2. Let's give that a shot. Hopefully we have got it. But that's, that's a very, very good game. Uh, very, very good puzzle game. It's a kind of game that you could make today with, with newer graphics and it will be like a brand new game. Uh, even though I don't really have an issue playing this style of graphics, right? We, I'm good with that. But I did see a Spy vs. Spy game. But I remember some of the older ones only being two-player, right? I mean, I, oh, someone put said Splunker as well, so we do that. Um, sorry, I saw Spy vs. Spy. Wow, so we get okay. Spy vs. Spy two. There's some oh Square Dancer for a second there. I thought I saw Shadow Dancer. You know, guys. Oh, wicked. Um, oh, need to uh, change the mapper. Let's do that. Okay, it's on auto already. Should we try this one? Nope. It's definitely not a Konami game, so let's have a look. Is this one going to work? Nope. Oh, yeah, it has worked. Okay, cool. Our oh, players, okay. One, level one. Interesting. This is where you kind of had to get other parts. I remember like having to put a bucket of water around the door. I mean, like, this is a fantastic game, man. Really, really good game. I, I never quite got into these, right? I always wanted to get into these. Um, and the reason that I really wanted to get into these, I absolutely used to love the Mad Comics. Uh, my uncle that I always, uh, you know, refer to, uh, that had the Atari ST, he also had a whole bunch of Mad Comics, right? And I always used to read them around there, and they were just absolutely brilliant. In fact, I think at one point, I just downloaded, like, a whole bunch of... Uh, mad magazines and i was reading them like on an ipad uh, a lot of fun uh, kind of going through there right um i remember like i really used to like guru the wanderer as well and i think he was featured in um in the mad comics right but then um he kind of had like his own comic as well guru the wanderer uh, g-r-o-o -O, the wanderer uh, worth checking out if you want something interesting to kind of read uh, but guys spy versus spy is one of those games that will take a bit of time i'll have to kind of learn it but again this game just has so much charm right you know the white spy versus the black sp uh, black spy i'm getting into quicksand there <laughs> but i'm gonna get out i'm gonna get out okay am i out i i, I, got, I got no idea I'm trying. Okay, cool. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm getting sunk and I'm going down there. Right. Um, what we got here? The castle. Okay, cool. Let's do the castle. All right, how much time we got left? Right, 20 minutes tops, guys. And I'm going to have to be out of here. Still got a bit of work to do today in order to preserve my weekend. Uh, and hopefully do stuff. Um, my wife, my wife is going to be super happy, right? Because she loves it when we go out to eat to my friend's restaurant. And yeah, it's just wicked. Uh, absolutely loves it. Right. The castle. Can't see it here. Castle tomb. Uh, okay, the castle. So TMS, let's have a look at... Let's go back out to no intro and just see if you've got a castle game there. Oh, the castle. Here you go. Cool. Let's now have a look. No, okay. Let's go. Oh, is it? No, okay, it's not. Okay. Let's go auto. Love it when auto just does it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what does a castle bring? Uh, so, TMS, are these, are these ports that you're asking, yeah? Rather than like, you know, exclusive uh, or original MSX games. Wicked. Let's do this. Is it going to let me start or do I need to press something? Tell me what I need to press. I'll press space. Hopefully that starts it. Oh, it did start it. Oh, right, cool. Again, has its charm. Okay. I jump up. I got a key. Do I need to move him around with a keyboard? 
Okay, you know what? Can't do much of this. Controls aren't very um, responsive. So, yo, Retro Tuners in the house. How you doing, guys? Guys, check out Retro Tuners channel as well, man. He, uh, he streams uh, a lot of stuff uh, on his arcade cabinet. Awesome guy. Awesome channel as well, man. Uh, but a list, right? Or a list day, however you say it. So, let's go back into created. Let's go into A. Right. There we go. Oh, okay. I've got a list. The a list two theme. Okay. What's what's that about? Right. Okay. That's that's all right. Let, let, let's give that a shot. Right. Uh, a list. What a list day or whatever is that? Is that clothing? Oh, I can hear the soundtrack. Maybe that's just the sound. <laughs> yeah, the castle. Uh, unfortunately, the controls weren't quite working, and I didn't want to. Um, yeah, I didn't want to spend time troubleshooting. Right, it's all about trying to get stuff out here. So this one's just music here, and that was a list two demo. So uh, no problems, uh, Retro Tuner. Always I love your stuff, man. You're a good guy. Um, so I appreciate what you do and your and your streams, man. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Hinotori. Okay, let's do Hinotori. That sounds like a Japanese game, right? Definitely a Japanese game. H H I Ooh. no okay maybe maybe I need to go into the no intro set and see if it's there no okay sorry bud haven't got your um your Hinatori game there uh someone what was that game oh Spelunker right let's check out Spelunker right I think I saw that. Hopefully, I saw it in here. What is it? SP. Let me find it in chat. SPE. Okay. Uh, okay. Spill. Oh, Irim. Okay. I like Irim games, man. I'm an Irim fan, guys. Love a little bit of Irim. Oh, okay. So, is this going to be like Splunky? Oh. Hey, what happened there? Just. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I've got more money. What's there? What happened there? I died. Okay, interesting. Right, what is going on, guys? Why am I dying so quickly? Yeah, not quite working out what's going on here, you know. It seems like an interesting game. I just need to work out what to do. <laughs> oh, there's a bomb there. Cool. I thought down and fire might be a bomb, and it was. Come on, blow up then. <laughs> All right. No idea what kind of happened there, guys. Um, what else have we got? We have got... Um... Okay, uh, wicked. Oh, unless this MSX2, cool. All right, no worries. Thank you for pointing out, Scalinio. Uh, there's a lot of confusion even online, right? When I was researching the best games, it was showing me Metal Gear, Castlevania, and all those games were on. Um, all those games were on the MSX2. Uh, so, guys, get get requesting block capitals. In the meantime, I will have a look at some games, and I kind of want to see some popular games, right? So, if there's anything there that's a little bit popular. Uh, we can have a look. Oh, Star Wars. Bite Busters. Okay. Let's do this, man. I'm a Star Wars fan. I dig it. I like it. And, uh, <laughs> uh, what's this? There's a long pocket work with Metal Gear MSX2 as well. As well. Um, no, it, it doesn't. All the sounds kind of loud. Let me turn it down a fraction for this one. Banging. Wow, it's got speech! Oh, it's missile, come on! A bit difficult. You know, you want, you want like a trackball or something similar, right? Okay, there's nothing about Star Wars apart from like the remix soundtrack that they got. <laughs> Interesting. 
But again, so much fun to be had on this machine. Right, let's have a look at the other Star Wars game that was there. Star Wars Parker Brothers. Let's do that. I'm definitely more Star Wars than Star Trek, guys. Uh, Matthew Kelly, Metal Gear, unfortunately, is um, MSX2, bud. Ooh. Ooh. ooh is, oh, the controls are inverted. Oh, Wow. Bang in. Bang in. We're playing it. We're playing the, the Vectrex Star Wars game, man, on the MSX. Wow. I would have loved this as a kid, right? Absolutely loved it. <laughs> no matter how bad, no matter how tricky the controls, inverted digital controls, I would have rinsed this out, man. I, I would have played it. Uh, in fact, you know the Atari, uh, the, the the Atari, um, the Atari Star Wars game. It plays really nicely on a mouse, right? Because you can move it around the screen uh, quicker. Banging, absolutely banging. Great to see some Star Wars stuff on here, man. Oh wow! I'm doing the trench run, guys. Great shot, kid. There was one in a million. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Do the lines. Red leader standing by. Okay, cool. Um, right, the goblin. I can see the goblin in uh, thingy. Oh, wicked. Chaplifter elevator action. Wonder boy. Okay, TMS. That actually might be a wrap, you know, uh, with those games. But let's do the goblin. Let's get back out here. And hopefully it's in the created list. Um, come on, goblin. Good goblin. Ooh, go, go 13. I remember that. Good, uh, good thing. Okay, so goblin isn't here. Maybe it's going to be in the no intro ones. You know what we will do, right? Whoever asked for Metal Gear, right? Let's see if Goblin's in here. If it's not in here, we're going to go straight out. No, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing Goblin, right? Let's just, let's do something, right? Just, just for, just for some kicks, right? Just, just for you guys, right? Let's, let's run Metal Gear, right? Because it's been asked for and it's one of the games that you kind of see. Like, I knew nothing about this system. Um... So, oh, let's have a look. So, I knew nothing about this system, right? So, I was like, okay, oh, it's got Metal Gear. Then I found out, oh, there's, um, there's, there's an MSX2. There's, you know, there's different MSX consoles. Sorry, what am I doing? I meant to go over here. There's, there's no way it's going to work, right? But, eh, you know, why not? Why not? Why not try it, right? Nope. No joy. Nah, it's not happening. There you go. So that's that's Metal Gear. We need to wait for an MSX2 core. Uh, but we can do Choplifter. Let's do Choplifter quickly. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, no. Well, I'm looking at MSX2 now. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Where is everything gone? Right. So Choplifter. Again, a, a classic game, right? Choplifter. Here we go. Absolute classic game. Hey guys, if you're just tuning in, we're kind of approaching the end of the stream. Big shout out to Marcus Jordan, aka Boogerman, for like making this available for uh, for me to show you guys. Uh, absolutely fantastic work. Great core. Plays really, really well. And you can tell because certain games, um, you know, that require reflexes, right? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm only being let down by my bad gameplay as opposed to, you know, the core feeling off or anything like that. As far as gameplay and everything goes, core performance, it feels absolutely great. Um, I think some of the features that that need working is maybe controls or some other quality of life stuff. But it's, there's plenty of quality of life there. Do I go down and shoot this? I've never really played Choplifter and that's one of the most kind of famous uh, games out there. It's just not a game I really know too. Oh, okay. So I can I can drop a bomb here. Okay, cool. How do I... Ah, uh, okay, one button to kind of... Ah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Kind of like it. When you go like that, you can chuck it. Even though I'm aiming like a blind... Oh, I've got to rescue that guy, right? Come on in, bud. Let me take you. Let me take you to a better place. <laughs> no, Matthew Kelly, all good, man. It's Honestly, searching online, as soon as you put in MSX games, what are the best ones? It'll come out and it'll be like, oh, yeah, by the way, you want Metal Gear? Come on, man. I was trying to rescue that guy. Surely you can run a little bit faster, right? What was the other game he said? Elevator Action. Now, Elevator Action, I did try out uh, when I did the video. And yeah, man, it's it's Elevator Action. It's actually, it's actually a very, very good. Um, it's a very, very good arcade port, let's say. You know, for what it is, it's it's very, very good. Again, you know, the title screen exactly like the arcade. Now, Elevator Action returns on the Sega Saturn, guys. If you've got a mister, play that. It is wicked. Absolutely wicked. Um, 
you know play it wherever play it on emulation just just enjoy the game man elevator action uh, returns just looks wicked in fact my local arcade actually has uh, the elevator action uh, light gun game and it plays really really well <laughs> One thing about this though, when you crouch, right, it locks you in and you need to move it up to kind of get out. Which I think may be different from the arcade version. Wow, I'm having a free run down all the floors, man. Surely someone's going to come out and uh, try and stop me, no? <laughs> ah, I got shot. <laughs> but again, decent game, right? Let's... Um... Yeah, guys, definitely, um... Uh... <laughs> okay, controls, are, they're a little bit... You kind of got to get used to them a little bit. Yesterday, I couldn't even open a door. I didn't quite know how to do it. But I think once, once I go on the red part here and move it down, it's all good. What do I do here? Okay, oh, it's the red part to go back up. Sorry. Right, let's do this. Let's just keep going down. Why well, not take the stairs, right? Get ourselves a little bit of exercise. Can I roll? No. That door just came out of nowhere, man. Is he going to come back up or? No, that's not coming up, is it? I need to get this one. Ah, I was hoping to make it. Ah, uh, okay, so I stand on that red bit to go into the door. Cool, makes sense. Interesting, okay. Maybe I can do this floor, who knows? cool okay that was elevator action awesome stuff let's have a look um wicked all right let's put on uh, what's the time now yeah man 26 uh, 26 pass let's do one final game and maybe something that's gonna have a little bit of eye candy not quite sure what that is and um yeah we can uh, let me go to a no intro ones where everything's just there let me find something that we know is kind of gonna look all right right Maybe like an arcade port or something. I don't know if there's anything that's kind of exclusive here or anything like that. Um, oh, Bruce Lee. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. this was wicked. Hopefully it's that Atari one where it's that platformy game where you've got a ninja and a sumo wrestler just chasing you non-stop, right? Uh, okay. Uh, F2, one player, F3 opponent. Right, okay. Yes, this was it, man. Wicked game. Absolutely wicked game. There's a ninja. There should be like a sumo wrestler dude as well. The ninja was kind of tough. Yeah, man. Guys, I love this game on the Atari. Wow, I remember it looking better, man, in my head. <laughs> it definitely lived a lot better in my head. I played this game a lot, guys. Like, absolutely loved this game. Uh, thought it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let me load it again. Actually, no, there's not much of a... You know what? Let me let me, let me, let me finish on one game, right? Because um, it's, got a, it's got a good... In, it's got a good... Um, yeah, it's got a good kind of, uh, what is it, like a track mode or whatever. And I think that's the Fairyland story. We did we did run it in here, but it kind of looks all right. Sorry. Oh, a bit, I've been doing this a long time. I spent a long time in front of my PC today. You know, I still want to do, I want to finish the weekly video like today. I just want to finish it so I can uh, I can just chill tomorrow. I don't have to do any type of video tomorrow. Unless I decide to do like a live stream. I may do a live stream of... Um, the Nintendo 64 core, right? Where, um, where, what was it? I think for this one, it was, um, it was, it was, it was, it was either this one or the 16 one. I think it was this one. Um, so, um, yeah, I might do a live stream on Nintendo 64 tomorrow, having a look at like the core in 480p. Uh, but that was, um, yeah, that was, uh, that, that would be interesting. Guys, this game's really good on here, the Fairyland story. This is a game I recommend trying out. 
it's just one of those single screen platformers and it, it just works man it works really really well even the graphics i find them so charming man they just look so darn good uh but guys that's it for this uh that's it for this stream man just a, a massive thank you to everyone really man um yeah it will be yeah so tms sorry the stream tomorrow i need to maybe look into it i might give video game esoterica a shout and get some info of him um but yeah maybe maybe that'll be a stream or maybe i'll just be chilling tomorrow i'll have to probably set up my kids rog ally and that'll take a little bit of time uh because i have to child proof it for him but the rog ally is a lighter machine than the steam deck so i'm hoping he can play it and uh, kind of enjoy it but guys you know what serious this wraps it up again really really appreciate all you guys dropping in tms and matthew ori uh retro tuna who was what scalino the first prime one um marcus absolutely wicked um who else have we got anthony colburn sorry if i didn't if i didn't uh, mention all you guys personally during the stream i am um obviously I'm, I'm i'm kind of playing and looking around but jinkman as well um absolutely wicked awesome to have you guys here uh who else have we got uh, i got some uh, i got some proper super thanks snk kev as always thank you always for like the super like and everything that you do uh marco verhoven thank you so much for that for that generous super like man that really really is super duper appreciated guys vampire thanks for dropping by uh literally everyone that was on the stream gov 2018 wicked to have you around guys like honestly these streams are just so much fun and before i before i leave let me just do a shameless plug don't forget the pixel cherry ninja garms available links in the description hopefully i'll put them in there uh, as well as that you know you've got t-shirts baseball cap cups i don't know whatever this drop shipping stuff does um but yeah awesome stuff if you want to support the channel and you know some of the proceedings go towards development then you can but that's it guys take care of one another be good to one another 